Hi, my name is Becky Klein. I'm the director of the Walt Disney Archives. I'm Robert Magsheimer. I'm the exhibitions manager for the Walt Disney Archives. And we're really excited this morning to be launching a brand new exhibit here at the Bowers Museum in Santa Ana, California. This is called All That Glitters, the Crown Jewels of the Walt Disney Archives. This exhibition explores all the small things that you see on, on camera. Uh, from watches to necklaces to rings, uh, crowns and tiaras. Uh, we're able to, to have over 200 objects on display. The hardest part of our doing our exhibits is what to leave out. We have so many wonderful things in our collections. And of course, now that the, the uh, 20th Century Fox Corporation, 21st Century Fox, I should say, has joined the Walt Disney Company, we have their assets from their archives. That archives has been uh, brought into the Walt Disney Archives and their staff and their collections are all now part of our collections. And so we have this enormous collection now of beautiful things that represent not only the vast history of the Walt Disney Company, but the collections from Fox as well. And of course we have uh, access to props and costumes from Marvel and the Star Wars universe. So we have all kinds of wonderful things. We have um, a pretty collaborative group within the archives and um, our registrar, Melissa Pancook, she came to us with this idea because she's constantly working with these pieces and these objects and she said, you know, every costume has so many uh, pieces of jewelry. Why don't we do an exhibit based on the jewelry? So uh, from there we took it and developed it further and further and we worked with the Bowers. Working with the Bowers Museum, they've been wonderful partners and we're so happy to be here with this particularly new exhibit. It's a great opportunity to explore uh, characters that we might not normally have on display. Uh, as well as uh, just the, the sheer amount of, of beautiful pieces that we have in our collection. Probably my favorite piece in the exhibit is the coronation crown from the Princess Diaries 2. It's such a beautiful piece. It's, it's beautiful eye candy. It sparkles and it's just a really lovely piece to look at. I love the pieces that, that uh, are a major part of the story. So the Baroness necklace, for example, from Cruella. Uh, the beautiful red piece is really the driving force for the film. You know, Cruella's trying to get this necklace back. And I love the idea of an inanimate object, such as a piece of jewelry, being such an important part of, of the storyline. There's the Heart of the Ocean from Titanic, which of course came to us from Fox. Marissa Tomei's uh, uh, earrings from My Cousin Vinny. You know, that's <laughs> a movie I grew up with and I love. And then there's a lovely piece, uh, a beautiful, stunning necklace from Black Panther, which I think is just fabulous to look at. And uh, it's like picking your favorite child. There's so many pieces in here I love, but those, those stand out to me in this exhibit. You could spend just hours looking at the beautiful details in these pieces that you may have seen on film, but you don't notice on film. But you know they're there because if they're wrong, you notice it. If they're right, you don't always notice. And so we thought it'd be fun to celebrate these pieces. It is opening uh, this weekend and will run through mid-June of uh, 2022.